those who dub third-tier debutant Kawazoe the mini Hakuho perhaps should be taken at their word. Here's his latest effort. Move of the meat so far or what? Koto Yusho is an ex-freestyle wrestler with an awesome upper body. Only too stiff. Letting Kawazoe do what he tried to do to Asanoyama. And I actually tried to avoid that position, he claimed. Because throws like that on guys so big will invite injury someday. I need a sharper charge which prevents me from being stood up. On that evidence, student Yokozuna may not be his highest sumo honor. His colleague Hokuseiho in Division 2 was seeking a ninth straight win. But lured into peril he was by clever Kitanawaka, who, outdone for power, invited the drive, then used that momentum to skip and turn into outside left throw, the right hand pressing the head. A second defeat for Seiho then, who is joined by Tochi Musashi on eight. In Division 1, an unwitting parade of the underachievers. Even Ho Shoryu losing four straight. And after them, no Yokozuna at all. Teru no Fuji withdrew this morning after coughing up four gold stars. A statistic not seen since the darkest days of Kisena Sato. Teru often speaks of time bombs in knees, and one of them just went off. Osteoarthritis and bone contusions, the official reason for pullout. His right knee's completely misaligned, said coach Isegahama. He's sorry not to fulfill a Yokozuna's duty, added coach Ajigawa. Operation talk is already rife. Might he even miss November? In beating him yesterday, did Takayasu burst in on the title race? Today, he could close the gap on the leader, having beaten him five times in six. As they shaped to collide, the fans fell silent. And leader Hokuto had his chance, there when Yasu's right slid off, but in plumping for charge over parry he let that right back in, onto badly exposed left arm. I was solid today, said Takayasu, and hope to put smiles on faces from now. He was so hard to shift, but I still could have won, panted Hokuto, full of self-blame but I'm in too good shape to get down about this. His next opponent is Tamawashi, drafted in for the Save Mitake Umi campaign. He's lost to Mitake 27 times. But a second straight win over hapless Mitake completed his September sweep of Yokozuna and Ozeki.
the first such achievement since 1985. I can't even express how that makes me feel, said a moved Tamawashi, who can only practice with low-level colleagues in Bruce Lee style 1v3s. As a previous champion, he's relaxed yet solid, said Sumo Chairman Hakaku. And the way he slapped his man in and scooped is something that comes with years and years of practice. Next, Shodai tried to revive the spark of July, which saw him upset the eventual champ. But the current storm has soaked through all his matches. His belt was caught, he tried to flee, then lost his grip, then reeled and swayed, and went to clamp but couldn't drive, and found his left foot sliding. Might that be where the problem lies? Or is he just freezing over? The task of giving a helping hand to badly fallen Ozeki Pride thus went to Takakesho in the battle of busted right ankles with Horshoryu, who yesterday changed his belt for good luck. Surely it couldn't happen again. Oh, but it could. All Ozeki and Yokozuna down for the second day running. As Keisho clamped and swerved, did Shoryu prepare to land on left foot and spring into belly to redirect the fall midair? My losing run was torture, Shoryu revealed, but I hope to turn things round. He's a strong Ozeki. So I aimed to deploy the Horshoryu style at its very best. A nightmare week then for Sumo's big names, who are clearly less fit than the men beneath. Their main consolation is they're yet to face each other.